All right, in celebration of Chinese New Year, which is coming up, um, we are currently uh, in the year of the rat because their Chinese New Year starts February 12th. So we're still 2020 year of the rat. And then we're gonna move in to the ox, year of the ox in t of 2021, which is February 12th. Um, and you can also look at this and this will tell you whatever year you were born, what animal represents you for that year. And it, you know, it just keeps going over and over. Um, and I love this one. This is really beautiful. We've got our rat and our ox, but yes, I have a dragon's egg. So I'm kind of reaching. Um, and we aren't even going to have the year of the dragon until 2024, but it's just such a fun, beautiful creature that we can kind of explore. And I made this really fun dragon's egg. And he is it's starting to crack open and you've got his little eye. Now you can probably just look at this and figure out how to make this all on your own. Um, but I'm gonna give you a quick uh, play by play of how I created this. So you just get your white piece of paper. If you're really feeling a little nervous, you are welcome to trace out an egg shape. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start, remember, fill up your page. Bigger at the bottom. Guess what, it's dragon egg. Dragon egg doesn't really exist, so it can be whatever wonky shape you want it to be. In fact, you could intentionally make it a little weird if you want to. Um, then I'm actually going to make kind of like an X or a T right here because I'm going to remember that's where I'm gonna have the little eye poking out. I've made scales, which is kind of just like shingles over and over. Um, make them big so it doesn't take you forever. Uh, you could do whatever you want. Um, on the outside of this, you can make lines, you could do whatever, you could make it like look like fire, you could do whatever you wanted. I used every green I could find, including some teals, um, to uh, color in my different scales. I just kind of did it kind of fast. I know it would take a while to do that, but I just kind of scribbled it in really fast. Um, I just chose one of the greens and colored a whole bunch of different scales. And then I took another and colored a whole bunch of scales. You could do, you could do like a rainbow order going down. You could do warm colors. You could do cool colors. You could do rainbow everywhere, like confetti rainbow, whatever you want. Um, you could have wonky, like drippy lines. You could do whatever you want. This is your dragon's egg. So have fun. So you fill that all up. You color that all in your beautiful colors. Then it's time to make your peeking eyeball. So I actually Googled what a dragon's eye would look like and it was quite simple. So it's kind of that football shape. You've got those lines like a football. So you just go down, up, down, and then mirror that down and attach. Then this is kind of like a cat's eye. It's kind of pointier, long and pointier like that. I like to keep a little white part in there and then you're just gonna color that in. You can also have these little parts like that are in your eye and that would be pink. And then you kind of have the scales all around it. Now you're not gonna really see all that perfectly. So it's just really simple all around that. And then color it in accordingly. Like I said, I did pink here. I did this yellow. I had a little bit of like reddish pink in there too. It's up to you. It's a dragon's eye. What do you think the dragon's eye look like? Okay, and give it a little skin color out there, whatever skin you think it has. Probably a different color than this, so it pops a little more. I did red, so it shows a little bit more. Then, when it's time to get to this, this is what I did. I fold this kind of carefully, just so that I can cut. I'm actually gonna cut that line, and then, 
I'm gonna just take my scissors and kind of go in a little sporadically. They don't have to be perfect. In fact, if you're feeling really brave, you could tear. So it looks a little more realistic, but you have to be careful. Oh, I didn't struggle so much yesterday with it because I think the paper was a little softer after I'd colored it all in. So anyway, you can do whatever you want, cut, tear. You're gonna really pull all those pieces back. Have fun with it. There's more tearing. I'm gonna pull all those pieces back. And then you're gonna have, you're gonna glue your eye on the back. So make it however big you need to see your eye. So I gotta keep making that a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger till you can really see that eye peeking out. And all I did, see how I have that? That's the paper, almost like 3D. And I just glued my eye back there or uh, tape or whatever you want to use so that eye is attached and, and then you have it peeking through. So have so much fun with that. Be super creative. I would love to see those. Send those my way. Enjoy.